Good morning, B40 Gamers, and welcome to BTV. My name is Kaden. And I'm Alicia, and today is October 8th. Let's check out this week in rap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Y'all yeah. ready? Uh, yeah. We hear you loud and clear. We bringing it right back. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Flow Cab's back with more raps. Uh -huh. Delivering the news in our classic format. Come on. Kick it off with the Ukraine is a scandal. A whistleblower made a complaint about a call between the Ukrainian president and Trump. Trump asked him to investigate Joe Biden and his son. Democrats have begun an inquiry into impeachment. The House votes yes, then the Senate has to reach in. Yeah, that's where they'll have their own trial. All we know is that the whole process could take a while. Next up, we've got to talk about the recent outbreak. It appears vaping could be a mistake. E-cigs were first marketed to help adults quit. But teens have been using it now. People are getting sick with a Respiratory illness that we've seen nationwide. The CDC says we should set the vape pens aside. Word. Now I don't know if y'all heard, but North America's been losing its population of birds, which are vital to our ecosystems. They control pests, pollinate flowers, spread seeds. Birds are the best. But they say so many birds have died due to habitat loss and all the pesticides. Right, now let's talk about cats They're more socially complex than we thought Here are the facts They form a bond with their human Like a dog or a baby With a secure or insecure style Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Last up, great news for the children There's a new gender neutral doll in the building Creatable world dolls Have all different skin tones Plus they come with different wigs and styles of clothes They're meant to be more relatable than Barbie or Ken With the more youthful look, they're easier to befriend Word up, yo, it looks like we made it to the end It's Flo Cat, the weekend rap Yup, back again Okay. Important reminder, this Sunday, October 31st, is Open Streets. This is a great event where all of West Cliff Drive is closed to cars so that people can take over the streets with alternative transportation. You can walk, ride bikes, skate right down the middle of the street. <clears throat> uh, there are also <laughs> many activities and entertainment stations set up along the road. See you there. There's only one week left to turn in your drive for schools to get money. This this is one of our biggest fundraisers and gives us money for things like field trips, dances, and sports equipment. We have a long way to go, but if we wait, raise $5,000, every single student will receive a prize, so turn what? in that money. In club news, GSA meets in the cooking room, and Knitting Club meets in library at lunch. Sorry, friends, but Knitting Club is canceled. See you Thursday, Tuesday. Tuesday. News from the library. Believe it or not, we already have five official B40 Reading Savages. How is that even possible? Our first reading savage is 8th grader Carmen Diaz, Cache, who blacked out her bingo card before October. Following close on her heels were 8th graders Scarlett Hare, Daphne Johnson, Maya Lawrence, and the library's very own Miss Marina Fi Fitch. 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 Congratulations to all of you. Keep reading and getting your bingo score stamped. Who will be next? The month of Spooktober is anti-bullying <laughs> month, as you know. Oh, wait. Hi, Hi Mr. O'Brien. Is it time? Yep. Whoa, whoa. Hi, guys. How's it yeah. going? Good. What a How's glorious it? day. So pretty out there. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? Good. I have some really cool swag, B40 swag here today. Swing. I'm hoping to give it away. These are really cool stuff. I hope I draw your name and uh, you can come up and pick a prize. There's also other cool stuff like front of the line passes. Um, so when we draw names... We've got that going. But first, um, let me talk just quickly about anti-bullying. Uh, this is the second week of our anti-bullying uh, month at Branson 40. And um, I'm really proud. We had over 240 students who signed the anti-bullying pledge. So way to go, Branson 40. That's half of our school. Um, I'm really proud of you for doing that. Um, we want to make sure that everybody feels safe here, that they're comfortable and they're included. And we want to stop bullying and focus on how we can become upstanders versus bystanders. What's an upstander, you might ask? An upstander is someone who can recognize, report, and respond. We only want you to respond if it's safe to do so. Upstanders work together to eliminate bullying and to help all students feel good here at school. A bystander is someone who watches bullying behavior without doing anything about it. We should all be honorable, sensible, and safe. And it's amazing because just yesterday, two students came to me and were upstanders saying that something was happening to their friend that they weren't comfortable with. They had already spoken 
to the boy who was saying things that they weren't comfortable with, um, and he did not respond. And so they told him again, which is really great. You want to be powerful and tell someone, hey, I don't like it when you're doing that. And if that doesn't work, then you can talk to an adult. Uh, we should never use the term snitch or tattletale or anything like that around here because telling a lot of times is the right thing to do. So be an upstander. Um, let's check out a video about being upstanders. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need When you feel so tired but you can't sleep Stuck in Tears come streaming down your face When you lose something you can't replace When you love someone but it goes to waste Could it be Wow, that was a powerful uh, video. Um, upstanders can be powerful allies in the fight against uh, bullying. Check out this video that really spells out the power of being an upstander. One in five children in the United States experience bullying where a peer harasses, humiliates, or threatens repeatedly. Bullying can have negative psychological, physical, and academic effects. It can contribute to depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, and it can be isolating. Most kids are not directly involved in bullying. They are a witness or a bystander to bullying. Sometimes bystanders get roped into reinforcing the bullying. This can make the situation worse and more traumatic. However, if a bystander becomes an upstander, then something really cool happens. 
When bystanders to bullying intervene, bullying stops within 10 seconds, 57% of the time. Think about it, if bystanders became upstanders every time there was a bullying incident, more than half of all kids would be spared a prolonged harmful experience, and they would feel the support of a peer. Kids with strong leadership qualities and who are self-assured are more likely to be on the defender role, so you are really like a peer superhero when you become an upstander. There are a number of ways you can shift the negative focus of bullying, change the subject, interrupt, question behavior, use humor to lighten up a serious situation, embrace your differences, report bullying and block cyberbullying, protect others and show kindness and empathy, and include others in what you are doing. Every time you stand up and stick up for others, you are making a positive difference and helping a peer who may really need a friend. To learn more about bullying prevention, visit stopbullying.gov. All right. Wow. Yet another powerful video. Great ideas and suggestions. And I love statistics. So um, that was really good. So just as a review, how can you become an upstander? You can tell the bully to stop. You can find a way to remove the victim from the bully. You can make a joke or change the topic of conversation. You can include the victim in your group or activity. There's more to come. Um, and I want to show you a video from what the art students are doing this month. And I want to reward also Savannah and June for being upstanders. Good job, Savannah and June. Now let's check out uh, an art video from Miss Brandon's art class. Posters around the school will help you to remember to not bully and be kind. We're all coming up with unique and individual ideas. You should look closely near the library to see all the stories you can find for our first art installment. Here in our class, we are working on anti-bullying. We are going to be making posters and putting up art projects. We've also come up with some fun activities that will help you see meaning in our creations. Your reflection shows who you are. Look for your reflection in the sixth gate hall. Look around you, Branta 40, and help stop bullying. Don't forget to be strong even when the times uh, are tough because they won't last forever. And don't forget to look for our second art installation in seventh and eighth grade hall. All right. Wow. Yet again, another great thing uh, happening at Brands 40. Great job, Miss Brandon, and your art students. Really empowering. Um, so quickly, we're going to draw a couple of names real quick. Here is one. Who's winning something here, you guys? Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, uh, get out of here. Look at that. Okay. It's you? Yeah, it's me. I swear that wasn't planted. That was amazing. Right. I pulled out an Alicia Guzman. Miss Books gave you this for being so helpful and covering books. Generally awesome right. and helpful. Way to go. Are you going to pick a hat or a shirt or front of the line pass? What are you going to do? I think it'll be a hat. Pick a hat. Sweet. Which one? Like this one. Wow. Yeah, show which one I she picked. All right. Very cool. All right, Alicia. Um, here's another one. Why don't you, young man, why don't you read that one? <laughs> uh, Natalie White. What What was she caught doing? By And by whom? Uh, Missy Casa caught her being... Uh, haciendo lo que falta durante el almuerzo. Ah. So doing her work that she needed to do during lunch. Gracias para traducir. Muy bien. Um, so congratulations, Natalie White. Thank you, Miss Icasa, for rewarding students. And then Miss Garcia also rewarded Sitlali uh, Paramo, I think his last name. Sitlali being a focused writer. Good job, Sitlali. Thank you, Miss Garcia, Miss Icasa, and Mrs. Books for rewarding students. You guys have a fantastic day. Or not. You know you're in control. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brian. Hello, ASB representative. representatives. What's up? Hi, I'm Isla, and I'm from B40 ASB, and I think that foot pudding is fantastic. Hi, I'm Max, and I also think I'm also from ASB, and I think I have similar feelings about pudding. It's great to see you, Max. Well, that's enough about pudding. Let's talk about what ASB has coming up. 
I hear there's a Halloween dance coming soon. Max, do you think that you could share an overused pirate joke to inspire people to attend this magnificent event? I sure can, Isla. Thanks for asking. The Halloween dance is coming up for the end of the month, and there will be a costume contest. So dress up like a pirate and prepare to shake your stolen treasure. <sighs> That's not how the joke goes, Max. I don't think you're allowed to say pirate booty on BTV. What else is coming up, Max? Our undefeated boys soccer team is playing Mission Hill this Thursday at 345, right here at B40. Everybody is invited to come cheer on our team and try to finish the season undefeated. There's a reliable source that predicts the Otter Pop Ferry will be visiting the spectators at halftime. That sounds incredible, Max, but what about those of us who want to watch B40 athletes run long distances through dirt? That's a great question, Isla, and this is your lucky week. On Friday, our ferocious cross-country team is going to be hosting a cross-country meet at De La Vega Park at 345. Everybody's encouraged to come cheer the dozens of B40 runners at this event. Max, did you hear about the wildly successful trivia contest that is sweeping through B40? I did, as a matter of fact, but why don't we just continue with your speech? Last Friday, the ASB sponsored the first B40 brain battle of the year and this thursday at lunch it is happening again do i need a super genius in order to compete all students are welcome to compete you just need to get a team of four or five students and be prepared to answer all questions on a variety of topics last week questions covered geography math spanish the simpsons spelling and questions about the b40 staff is it true that the winners will be receiving it's it's ice cream sandwiches and other big prizes and other big prizes uh, <laughs> this is just one of the fabulous prizes that will be available to the winning teams. I'm going to get a squad together, study a bunch of random junk, and win an ice cream sandwich this Thursday at lunch. Good luck with all your sandwich dreams, Max. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. And as Hispanic, as, as Hispanic Heritage Month comes to an end this year, we continue to celebrate with poetry. This poem is called Brown Girl and is written and performed by Yasika Salgado. I am Brown Girl, daughter of border hoppers. Mommy cleans houses too fancy for us to live in. Daddy parks cars too nice to ever dream of. I am one of three sisters. Men yell welfare at mommy when they see us. I am Latina. I like reading. I like writing. This is funny to other Latinos because time is meant for more important things like cooking or cleaning or helping mommy because she works hard for us. I am Jessica. This name borrowed. It used to belong to a rich girl my mother once worked for. I am a dreamer, not so good at doing. What I am good at is translating things from my parents like letters, school notes, landlord phone calls, work instructions, traffic directions, prescriptions. I think in English, but my tongue is dressed in Spanish. I am always missing a word for something in either language. I've been called many things. Wetback, spick, beaner, sometimes even illegal. I became a statistic when I dropped out of high school, but I am still a writer. I learned to do this all on my own. Nose pressed into Sandra Cisneros, Isabel Allende, Julia Alvarez, all brown girls, all born into Spanish and then translated just like me. Daughter of two people who knew exactly what they needed and transplanted themselves just to get it. I am still a dreamer and am slowly growing into a doer. And my skin color, well, my skin color only makes it that much more beautiful. That's our show for today. Thanks for watching. Stay, Stay classy, classy brand supporting.